Amanda, thank you. Thank you. Just pass quietly and uh, have your seat, please. I will commence this very important press conference. Before we read out to you a prepared text aimed at addressing a very important and pertinent national issue, I'd like to ask all seditions Table and your places of work, <coughs> the countries and the arts, all of you to kindly rise to your feet. Ask yourself a moment of silence in the passing of some of our compatriots. Recent. Thank you. Please have your seat. I'd like to I'd like to emphasize that the CDC is grieved by any loss of life. We are a sensitive political institution that reflects the collective interests of the Liberian people and those that reside within our borders, including those that are passing through our borders. All our lands are available to us, irrespective of status or creed, irrespective of sex or religion or tribe Every human life is important to us and we are grieved by the passing of some of our compatriots as announced of recent times by different media outlets. That's why we have set up a special committee to reach out to the families of the disease to express our deepest condolences and sympathy and to work to console members of the bereaved families at whatever level that is possible. We have appointed <coughs> party Zilliot and Adia Law with the Minor Piso Seditar as chair of that committee, co chaired by the chairperson of the Women League, we also appointed a youth chair on that committee. Secretary General Wojanga Ko is also on that committee. They will reach out to members of the bereaved families to express how grieved we are as a political institution in the passing of our compatriots and to pray for God's consolation upon the families and to offer our assistance in whatever way possible because we see Liberia as a hut, a singular hut and all of us are residents of that hut whatever affects one member affects the other so if someone is lost Irrespective of we saw the person stood, we are concerned. When it comes to human life, we don't see political party. We see value that runs beyond trap, ethnicity, religion, 
creed says, etc. Having said that, we want to commend the wisdom of the President, His Excellency George Manawia, to have announced the formation of a committee with international dimension to investigate uh, the deaths of some of our brothers and sisters that were established the fights which will be clearly uh, put out to the public because we are especially interested in the inclusion or the invitation that has been extended to the United States Embassy to help support or to form part of the investigative mechanism. That's important. Because sometimes they say the Prophet is not respecting his own home. So that precludes or prevents any perception that the investigative process as it's going to be launched is prejudiced. So the international dimension added by the President's wisdom is very commendable because we have absolute confidence in the integrity of our friends, our traditional or stepfather called Uncle Sam, in their capacity of course to help us. We also have confidence in our local law enforcement practitioners uh, whomever that has been added on our investigative team to do their work. So the inclusion of uh, the United States Embassy is a good thing that we commend and the President continues to show wisdom in handling national matters in a way that it will keep our country stable and ensure lives are protected. The medical leader for democratic change France on the ongoing melee between the Liberia Telecommunications Authority and mobile network operators, which is Orange and Lone Star, and calls for a speedy resolution in the matter. We call on the LTE and GSM companies to resolve all disagreements in the soonest possible time to provide relief for Liberians. The leadership of the Coalition for Democratic Change decries the breakdown of dispute resolution mechanism between the LTE and GSM companies, noting that it is this breakdown that led to litigation culminating in the recent Supreme Court ruling favoring the government of Liberia. We believe, despite this ruling, both sides should return to the dispute resolution mechanism enshrined in the act establishing the LTE or to other suitable frameworks that place the Supreme Court ruling in its proper context. The CDC warns the GSM companies to refrain from any form of political machination or pollution, which is a crime of economic sabotage that indirectly plays the ordinary people against our own government. While we do not aim to dwell on details of recent pronouncements by GSM companies, the recent price changes announced by both companies have elements of collusion and unlawful profiteering which is punishable under the, the laws of the Republic of Liberia. We remind the GSM companies that it is always the interest of the government of Liberia to protect businesses and their investments but to do so in a way that enhances the interest of the Liberian people. The CDC reminds Liberians that LTS policy of floor pricing was intended to protect Lone Star Cell MTN from an aggressive price race to the bottom that was being waged by Orange Liberia. A cultural competition that would have led to Lone Star Cell going out of business. The government worked to protect Lone Star in order to provide a level playing field and save hundreds of Liberian jobs that would have been redundant by Lone Star Cell MTN. Sadly, today it is the very Lone Star Cell that is acting in a manner contrary to the interests of the Liberian people 
thereby ignoring the positive intervention of the government of Liberia to save them from potential bankruptcy. The CDC also wants the LTA to exercise care and prudence when announcing policies that have implications on our people and that may pose to the reputation of the government of Liberia, which is pro-poor to its school. Lest we forget, it was this government that declared free tuition at public universities. This is the same government currently paying wage fees for high school students. It is this government that raised the income of more than 15,000 government employees, some of whom were making as low as $45 per month under the United Party-led government. We encourage the LTA to reflect these proposed attributes in its policy formulation processes moving forward, which will benefit the ordinary Liberian people that we've always defended and we always protect. In conclusion, the mighty coalition for democratic change calls on all citizens, partisans, and sympathizers to remain calm as President George Weir has taken seats of the surcharge disagreements between the Liberian Telecommunications Authority and GSM companies. The party, the party notes that fronted discussion surrounding the legal and financial ramifications of the soil charges are ongoing, mm -hmm. and we assure the Liberian people that we return the status quo in the pricing of data and calls and calls in the shortest possible time. Lastly, the National Executive Committee of the Coalition for Democratic Change calls on partisans involved in planned protest in planned protest actions to cut off such plans in the interest of national peace and stability. In seeking to address grievances, the party encourages its members to utilize the existing organizational or judicial platforms to deal with pertinent governance issues, ruling out protests as a means to an end, especially at this time. Henceforth, the CDC calls on all members and sympathizers that all towns remain peaceful and Lord abiding through all this campaign and beyond. Thank you very much. We will now submit for the press and await questions that may arise out of this press briefing or that we need our response. Thank you. Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, thank you. That was the voice of the chairman of the trap party session of our party. On speakers, they provide an official position on behalf of the Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. So, so we'll now move to the question aspect. And we'd like to appeal to you to restrict your questions on the basis of the nature of the press conference. So, we'll take about Four, four questions, four questions. So please, as we call you, recognize you, yeah. call your name, and tell us which institution you report from. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, we'll take the fellow. And the okay. Um, Augustine sign a report for Chief FM. Chairman Molo, I listen to you. You sound disappointed in Lone Star Cell MTM. If I may ask, um, were, were there any prior discussions that you had with I, those that are empty and prior to I, I mean, the placement of such charges on I, on the cops? Last question. Let's just do four questions. Okay. Then we'll just proceed. Yeah, thank you. My name is Peter Moiza. I'm a multimedia journalist. <laughs> According to you, the president has taken seeds of the ongoing digital matter. Are there any specific time for Third question. Third question. Yes. Um, my name is Andrew Johnson and I report for OKFM. The CDC, like any other political party, don't have the jurisdiction over the regulation of GSM companies. And the LTA ordered them to replace or bring back whatever they took away in 24 hours and it was not done. 
what made you believe that you saying it as a CDC will regulate them to do what you as a party want them to do and if it is so or will be when should the people expect that to happen last question last question sure. Thank you. So let's take the last question first. In the first place, uh, the No Star Cell GSM Company and the Orange Liberia GSM Company are two data service providers that are responsible to. Uh, sell data to subscribers and so if there is a mind you that that process is not operating in a vacuum there is a legislation or there are statutes that govern how data may be transmit, transmitted business-wise to our customers or the subscribers and if there is going to be a change in the data service plan that change has to commensurate with regulations laid down by uh, law, of course, which is supervised by the telecommunications authority. So in the event where that process is violated, it placing burden on customers and subscribers and who are our partisans and citizens, it is our responsibility to make intervention to call for a speedy consideration of a decision that operates outside statute and laws. And so to come back to your question, of course, Lone Star Cell and uh, Orange Liberia are responsible for uh, for the increase in the price and in data pricing. And what is more troubling is the Liberia Telecommunication Authority is in disagreement with the amendment of pricing. In fact, there was a statement released giving a specific time framework automaton for these communication companies to restitute lost data uh, that may have been taken from consumers and customers quote-unquote arbitrarily or illegally that has not been done so we are intervening on the side of the people the Liberian people we are not shareholders of Lone Star on Orange we are shareholders of the right of the Liberian people we are shareholders of the of the people's interest so the situation with Congress Liberia and Lone Star Cell, of course, in the data pricing belief, in our view, is unwarranted in reference to the LTA regulation, which was announced and ultimately given them to return the status quo ante. So our interest is the two companies should return to status, status quo ante. How do they do that? We bring them into your question. There was a process, there was a negotiation process that was stalled or broke down. How they broke down, we don't have the details. But it is that breakdown of negotiation that led to a litigation at the Supreme Court, which of course came out favorable to the government of Liberia. So we would like to see both parties, the LTA and communication companies operating within our borders, to return to that bargaining table and to sort out whatever discrepancies that may exist leading to the litigation. Even though the Supreme Court uh, uh, a rule in favor of the government, but we are also interested in ensuring that the rights of mobile, mobile, or uh, 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 GSM subscriber, GSM companies are protected. We also want to see Lone Star Cell doing business here, just as we want to see Orange Liberia doing business here. But the interest of the people encompasses the interest of private entities. So the way the, the middle ground has to be that the LTE and GSM. GSM company should return to the bargaining table where they were before the Supreme Court ruling should be returned to so that whatever problems that have existed leading to the people being punished by the increasing data charges by the two companies those things should be resolved so that we go to status one thing but while we do that these companies have to return to status quo anti that is if I don't know the different price structures, so I don't want to be specific. Whatever that price structure was before the increase, they should return to that price structure. I think accommodating or respecting the regulation or the, the automaton issued by the LTA 
uh, is important moving forward because that will relieve the burden of our people to allow them to do business, to allow them to make calls without experiencing uh, financial difficulties as it is right now. But under the circumstances, the process is, is deplorable and we don't support it. We want to see a return of data companies to status quo ante. The people's credits, the people's data should be returned to their phones in two fold, just as LTA has, 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 has ruled and automated that they do that. And so, no company in Liberia, in the private sector or even in the public sector, operates in a vacuum. They are laws. The laws have to be respected. Mm -hmm. And I think those that say Liberia should also be in that position, just as already Liberia, to respect our laws and respect the rest of subscribers. The people cannot be punished for misunderstanding between LTA and, and, and GSM companies. The people should not be uh, the bearers of the greatest responsibility of the financial burden. So that financial burden placed on the people should be lifted. The data that was taken from every subscriber mobile phone should be restored so that the people can experience communication without the burden they are going through now as mobile sell all the data subscribers so that's where we stand as a political party and to, to, to speak to your question uh cdc is the party in in power we are a democratic institution that was supported overwhelmingly by the liberal people to the presidency if you are a mobile cell company that don't take seriously recommendations from the party that is in, intended to balance or to create equilibrium in the business sector I don't know who else you were listening to because we are a governing architecture that is taken very seriously by major stakeholders and we are similar calling for a return to the status quo ante. So I think it's going to be listened to. I think in the next few days the LTE and the, uh, the GSM companies will continue to engage. I think in the next few days there will be some positive development that will ease the burden on our people. So I don't, I don't take it like they wouldn't respect the party's view on this issue, which is very substantial and very important to resolving the melee between the two different institutions. Now, besides that, I stress in the press statement, the LTA also has to be very careful. When you are crafting policies, the LTA is not, is not an entity in, the, in a vacuum. LTA is a part of the governance architecture. It's a part of the people's mandate. They need to learn and follow the pattern of the Liberian president, especially George Weah, who remains pro to the end. This is a pro party that takes policies that are pro driven So it is important to stress every agency of government that institutionalizes policies, those policies will always commensurate with the agenda of the party which is represented by the president. You cannot draw policies that is seen as anti-people. So in formulating those policies as spelled out in the, in the press statement, the LT must always be cognizant of the need to instill in their policy mechanisms the interest of the Liberian people. We are here first and foremost to ensure the Liberian people are certain that their interest is maximally protected. We are here to maximize the collective potential of the public. That's why we're here. So if any governing institution will deviate from that, then they have the power to contend with. So we think that... Manda! Wait! Manda! Wait! Manda! Wait! Manda! Wait! Manda! Wait! Oh! Say! Luther! So we think LTA... Now, have they done something wrong yet? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying moving forward, they've got to be protective of the governing manifest of the people entrusted to our, to our charge. Now, just some companies as a last statement on this issue, cannot also operate in a vacuum. There are laws in this country. Now, we were very clear that the actions of some companies will indicate collusion. Collusion demonstrated means a process where you work in unity with opposition groupings to undermine the democratic process. The interest of the people is tied to national security. Because it is the people that get power. Power is inherent in the people. So when you try to tamper with the interests of millions of people, then you are trying to push your country on the precipice of national security collapse. Yeah. We do not want that. This data process is a very significant issue that should warrant the 
urgent attention of this GSM companies. Mm -hmm. The people money must be restored to their full because their monies were taken. Viva, as, viva, as, viva, 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 viva. And so we are thankful that the president has taken seize of mm -hmm. the matter. Meaning he himself has intervened. Our competence does not lie in orange Liberia intervention or Luster Center intervention. Our competence rests squarely on the intervention of the president to ensure this issue is resolved in a timely and immediate fashion. So we are very confident that now that Liberia's first and only pro poor president has intervened, this issue now is going to be resolved. Our advice is to data companies return to the arrangement that broke down, which led to a Supreme Court ruling. Go to that arrangement, go to the table, LTA, go back to the table, resolve the issue. But we are confident, and that's why we're having this press conference because the man that matter, the man that is the biggest voice, the man that has the biggest muscle, the man that is strongest for the poor people, has intervened. And it's that intervention now that gives us the guarantee. So thank you very much. God bless you as a gentleman to the presiding president of this press conference, Mr. Jonathan Tamakoji. Thank you. I do want to say thank you. Thank you so much to the chairperson. That has been the voice of our chairperson. And we want to re-emphasize to you. Don't take this party for joke. We do not speak in, in vacuum. We are very purposeful driven institution. We were born from the belly of the masses. We protect their interest. You can go to bed on this. The issues of data have been settled.